blood drinking parties um, where you can hire blood prostitutes. Where oh, hell, they have that in the New York Times and say it's super yeah. trendy. <laughs> Millie Weaver, you grew up in Los Angeles. You were just telling me about your sister briefly getting sucked into some of this stuff, some lesser magic, desecration of Christ stuff that she witnessed. I mean, I grew up in a very wealthy area, and it was just prolific Satanism by billionaires and folks. And these were very beautiful women, uh, you know, people with helicopter pads at their houses, you name it. And I got sucked into it three, four times, and I would not be part of it. Uh, and then, you know, all hell would break loose. And then I kind of brushed into some of it in Hollywood. But it's just prolific, and they're testing to see if you're evil if you, if you have no soul. Uh, but you were going to speak to that. Yeah, well... My sister described it to me because she went there thinking that she was going to go to her friend's church. And little did she know that their church was something really disgusting. And so she went there and the way she described it was she just said it looked like a bunch of weird dweeby nerds there all dressed in black. And they it looked like a Catholic, somewhat like a Catholic church setup. But uh, instead they had a big fat naked woman dancing around trying to seduce a guy dressed up like Jesus. And then she ended up like seducing him and kissing him. And then they all took like a mask to it, like how you would see it, like a Catholic. Church. Which is low level blasphemy. Yeah. And she said she didn't take the mask. She was really freaked out. And she, you know, never went to anything like that ever again. And well, that was just a nerd continue. group. But you were telling me yeah. you personally, though, ran into some other stuff too. But. Yeah. You know, there's all kinds of stuff. I mean, I've had, I've heard and had people tell me about um, blood drinking parties um, where you can hire blood prostitutes for Oh, hell, they have that in the New York Times and say it's super yeah. trendy. Yeah, they, they- Oh my God, it's a trendy. They have blood prostitutes and they're basically people that their blood's clean and that they will basically be like, here, hook me up, you know? And they get paid to give people their blood and these old guys all sit around and drink these young women's blood. Usually, it's usually women, but I don't know. It's all about selfishness. Yeah, it's it's sucking the life energy out of the youth, out of the young people, and stealing it for your own. It's it's really <laughs> self. Good luck with that. It and you know what's crazy? true life energy is by laying yourself down. Yeah, exactly. Self sacrifice. Fools. That's what we learned from from Jesus was self you know self sacrifice, not stealing from others, and stealing their life force. And that's what we've seen with these abortion clinics where you've seen these fetuses being harvested for stem cells. And they're also uh, put into pills for rich women to eat them. I mean, there's every level of this, or the, the Pepsi flavor testing systems is made out of fetal tissue. I mean, this is this is turning us into a commodity, heating the, the hospitals with babies' bodies. And, and, and remember, we told you this before it was in the news. Now it's all out in the news, and it's like funny, people think. Yes, and it's not new. The elite have been doing this for centuries. And the ultimate Satanism is warping our genetics, turning us into a new species, an abomination, a new alien life form, which the elite believe they're doing. I don't believe that. Now, Ridley Scott comes out four years after I told you Prometheus is what he really believes. It's the elite highest level Illuminati religion is they believe that they're actually fallen ones. Their genetics are pure. All the rest of ours aren't. We need to be exterminated. It's the opposite of the Noah story that we have the good genetics, we're not evil. It's the psychopaths trying to inbreed to make the superhumans. There it is. Uh, aliens are real and will just probably destroy us, says Red 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 Ridley Scott. Now, I told people four years ago that's his secret belief because I was told by that, by that by people that work with him. It's all secretive, too. The guy's in a space cult. Well, you know, if you want to check out more... Hey, guys, Google this. Alex Jones, the elite are a space cult. Or <laughs> Lucifer wants the elite to build a spaceship to escape earth all these attacks yeah. on me i'm telling you what they really believe i don't believe it sorry go ahead yeah no the crazy part which even this guy here talks about this ex-banker they believe it to them it's real so to those of you who are you know atheists or whatever out there and you're like well this is just all silly because you, i don't believe in any of it right well they believe it and to yeah. them it's real yeah I, I mean i mean there are people in new guinea that are headhunters and want to eat your liver you say well i don't believe in headhunters they believe in you yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, the devil doesn't exist. Okay. There are people that manifest that archetype that want to kidnap your kid, torture him for their own personal enjoyment. And, 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 and to us, it's horrible thinking of a kid begging for mommy or daddy. They call it music. They just, oh, they sit in the dungeons and just hear them beg and it makes them feel so good because they're demons.
What the aging process is, is when the cell replicates, we lose a little bit of our telomeres. Telomeres are the little cups on the end of our chromosomes. Basically. And when it runs that out, you start dying. Secure your DNA force today at InfoWarsLife.com.